Hi everyone, I'm so happy here uh, bring our story how can bring the data locality to IO intensive workloads on the Kubernetes environment. My name is Shou Wei Chen. I'm the core maintainer of the Alashu project. And at the same time, I also make the roadmap for the open source Alashu. And uh, first of all, I want to address what is the challenge actually we saw in the Kubernetes environment. And nowadays, like uh, people almost deploy everything in the Kubernetes environment, no matter it's a stateless application, even stateful application. And uh, because so many different things deployed uh, in the Kubernetes environments, we saw some common pitfall we observed here. The first of all is more and more data is being generated, and gen data is being stored in silos. For example, you deploy in the Kubernetes in the uh, cloud environment, at the same time, you have the Kubernetes in the on-premise uh, uh, data center and uh, make you copy and manage your data all over the place is uh, very costly. You have to do the error prone and it costs the delays for your users to consume this kind of data. And the uh, uh, second problem is the different team need access to this data. Uh, it's a lot of trouble there. There is a new need to support the new application and corresponding different interface to access the data because we will have so many people cooperate on the Kubernetes platform. Each of the, the integration of each of them requires times and a lot of effort to optimize for till you can go to the production. And on top of that, our tech industry is progressing very fast, which has been creating new compute and storage technology every three to eight years which means with this kind of innovation in the cloud and the Kubernetes environment, the adoption of the hybrid or multi-cloud and the data stack has to adapt the base or multiple environment. You can see you can have like a different compute, uh, the AI, the big data analytic, and the storage, object store and the cloud storage, all this kind of thing in your platform. So it's very com complex for to manage all of them. So with, uh, with those demands in mind, we are introduced a new layer between the compute engine and the storage system like in the Kubernetes environment. This new layer provides a complete virtualization across all data source to serve data to application who do not need to care about the location of your data. So you just need to consume the data instead of you have to worry about where should I put the data, and where, when should I move the data, and where should I copy the data. The solution we have built is application for across environment, whether in the cloud or in on an on-premise environment. It's mainly like anywhere you want to deploy your cluster with Kubernetes, or we can help you to build your data locality there. Just to give a very uh, simple like, uh, architecture here, this is the uh, partial of the architecture of the Alashu in the Kubernetes environment. We can uh, mount into the volume with our fields interface. At the same time, we also can provide the, the cluster level locality with Alashu worker and master in the Kubernetes environment together with your compute. So with uh, bring the metadata locality and the data locality into your Kubernetes environment, actually you can get a much better performance with the IO uh, with this kind of locality. And at the same time, we provide the uh, script for you to install your uh, larger in your Kubernetes environment. And first of all, we provide this harm chart. And at the same time, we also have the operator there if you really want to do the maintenance and operate for your uh, Kubernetes environment with our Azure system. Uh, because of time limitation, we cannot go through very detailed use cases here, but uh, feel free to scan this QR code if you're really interested in the Alasho system, and uh, you can understand what is the big analytic use cases here, seen together with the AI machine learning use cases, and how you can do the fast data analytic and the fast AI machine learning large-scale training with your system in the Kubernetes environment. And also feel free to join our Slack channel and uh, we are very active there and have to answer any kind of this kind of question. <laughs>